This is the story of a Friday night at Homewood. Friday night, football under the lights. And the home team wants to put on a show against their Centennial Conference foe, Gettysburg College. This is the story of the week leading up to that game. This is a story of a week in the life of Hopkins football. Right, real quick, just, just some thoughts on the game. One, you know, coverage stuff was great early in the game. Two, three and outs, scoring the first two drives. The thing was almost decided early, which was which was great coming out of a bye week. It gives the kids a lot of uh, you know, a lot of confidence. So I think I think all three phases were really well prepared. I mean, I was, I mean seriously, that's that's just good work by you guys. It's rocking and Longo were yeah, they were unbelievable. Yeah. Drives were the ball, we looked great. And yeah, sometimes we did just look really average. Yeah, it took him a little while, but yeah. the first quarter we were talking, and, and I kept saying, I know you. He said, he say this or that. I said, yeah, I know. We'll, you'll work through it, and it'll start coming. All right, tonight we're just going to go with, with last week's schedule. The only thought would be, that, you know, they're just not used to doing this, putting pads on just a day and a half after and going out. So, if anything, just scrip down a little bit. You know, if it's, if it's a matter of going a little bit too much or a little bit too few, go too few. But uh, let's let them run around and have some fun under the lights. I think they'll want to do it and they get tomorrow off. And we should be in good shape. The coaches fire up the team. Hey, Beginning hey. of practice starts smoothly. And, tackle, number two. and so begins a week of practice for the Blue Jays in preparation for Friday's game. One's back on deck. Yeah, what look what? 48 yard line. What is taking so long? There you go, back. Oh. Now let's go, fellas. As practice winds down, Coach Margrath has a few words for the team. All right, typical Tuesday, a lot of new things in. A little ups and downs, but overall real good, all right? It's great being out here at night. You got tomorrow off, rest yourselves, get yourselves better. All right, catch up on some schoolwork. Be ready to go on Tuesday. Bring it up, here we go. The coaches head inside after practice to begin a long night of watching film and calling recruits. Now, if you could rank the schools, where's where's kind of Hopkins fit in everything? You know, it's you know. in the forest. <laughs> it's in. <laughs> oh, is this kid that's like insane in the test scores? Yeah, as long as that here. Oh, as long as that. Great looking kid. But the night ends around the conference table with food and a little bit of Sunday night football for fun. Gotta love Sundays. The assistant coaches start Monday off with the daily ritual, a couple rounds of racquetball, before they invite small groups on the team into the conference room to review film. No. Because yesterday I kind of did. Don't. You kind of gets the edge. Just really get out there and run with it. Yeah, don't. Passing into your drops. Okay? You're going to see it. You're going to want to stack that way. Right? All that. We're bouncing off these guys. We've got to be able to wrap up and take them to the ground. The film sessions can be lengthy, but Coach Raring's advice has direct results on the field. I put the backups in too early. <laughs> That's what it was. I've never been accused of that. I let up. <laughs> A quick recap of this afternoon's racquetball game with Coach Wadica, and then Coach Margaret and Chimera get down to business. Uh, you know, they've got yeah. two conference losses. They have to take some chances. they got to just try to blitz us. Yeah, yeah I must, I'm going to expect a lot, of, a lot of 10 early. They, sh they show more 11 against Millenburg than they have. Yeah. So, you know, some kind of man. And we're going to continue to work on splits with the number twos, just to make things more clear. Mm -hmm. Even Coach Raring stops in to review a couple clips before the rest of the staff head to their offices to watch film by themselves. A new day means new challenges for the staff, including personnel decisions for Coach Margraf. We can't, he's too good a kid. He's worked too hard. Someone else will step up, so let him go. And some new defensive drills for Coach Raring. Oh yeah, so. Your guys will get cut like crazy. Yeah, Ankle biters. Right. Well you are the, are the OC. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. 
Yeah, you guys gotta start playing a little better too. Hmm? You guys gotta start getting some more yards on scout. On scout? Yeah. Tomani's actually been kinda killing. He's been playing alright. Individual player meetings give some, even star running back Brandon Cherry, an opportunity to pitch their talents to the coaching staff. Alright, cool. Hold on, no, that formation. We're let, starting in it. Well, let, let me, <laughs> let me just get that. Let me get the eye formation. But you want to be in the eye formation? Yeah. Seriously. I guarantee six yards. Or, yeah, minimum six. All right, we'll see how you look on it today. If it looks good today, you'll be in. If it doesn't, we, we, it's going to be, it's gonna be the first play. Yeah, I know. The way the rotation goes. Hey, I hold the rotation power, okay? Okay. All right. All right, I'll see you at 4.30. This one? Yeah. All right, have a good day. All right, see you. All right, so also, just so you know, it doesn't affect anything at all, but we're going to be an alpha, and Cherry's going to be lined up behind Braden. Tuesday also means film sessions for special teams, offense, and defense before practice. Right, read your guards, that guard pulls bit down right now, go make a tackle. And when it's time for practice to start, many on the team are ready to hunker down and get ready for Friday's matchup. Coach Raring is intent on making sure his side of the ball will be ready to play on Friday. Up. Now I gotta sink back inside with this so we can eliminate this with linebacker, help that safety, and now the safety can help with the post. Now the thing that we'll have now, this next one, because we're gonna go a bunch of Oki, okay? That if we get twins open FIB, okay? But you would, you would be banjo. You got me? You. Coach Margraf closes practice with a couple words of caution for the team and sets the bar for excellence. They present some things offensively and defensively, right? Where we've got to do some stuff differently, or really have to just do things better. Right, our focus is just still on us. All right? We need to be a little more solid offensively, but overall, that's pretty good. Wednesdays open with some assistants catching up on homework and others reviewing too more recruitment footage. Don't take it too low. Stay in the middle. Saw that wood. Saw that wood. On a cold day, ball protection will be emphasized throughout practice. Wednesday practice ends with high-pressure field goals, with the whole team gathering to watch Jamie Sullivan nail this kick and celebrate accordingly. Thursday has some coaches getting ready for next week's matchup against their scientists. Okay, first, Gotta get a jump start. Thank you. Yes. We give them what the 40 front. That's really nice. Lorenz, you just gotta get Lorenz moving. And Coach Margrab gives a student yeah. athlete an opportunity to study so abroad. So, recovery for these surgeries like six to eight months. So, obviously, I wouldn't be able to win after participating in spring ball at all. So, I was uh, thinking about taking an opportunity potentially to study abroad. Yeah, definitely. Um, the guys hatch up ways to drive attendance to Friday's game. But Thursday's practice starts rough all around for everyone. Yeah, I'd have to. I don't know if you'll have enough energy. I will actually try to think of someone else. Think of someone. We just need everybody to get over to the game. I'm probably going to have Brandon start the game and get the first couple. And then I'm going to put you in and get like six runs in a row. All right. All right. All right. All right. Hey, let's go, White. Let's go. Pick it up. Pick it up. Oh, come on. Hey, let's go, man. 
Come on! We got the win. We got the win. Everyone struggles, but that doesn't stop the wide receivers from acting out their weekly skit after practice is over. I'll tell you what's just being loose. I want to have fun, but we got to be focused on what we're doing. All right, tomorrow that's a big game for us. Five night on Homewood. All right, against a great opponent. All right, so just think what you have to do tonight to be great tomorrow. All right, I know we're gonna come out great tomorrow. Just got a little sour taste in my mouth right now, so just prove me wrong tomorrow night and be ready to go. All right. The guys wrap things up early after practice on Thursday. Then, finally, game day. Him and Ford, hey, now they're ready to go. Hey, here's the deal. What we gotta keep our composure, right? All those penalties, we're killing ourselves. This is a week to week business. And, um, you know, I'm happy we won tonight. I'm already thinking about next week right now. But uh, it, 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 is, it is nice that uh, Hopkins you know, as a program is you know, he's getting to a certain level of success right now. Okay, again, Johns Hopkins tops Gettysburg 37-14 here at Homewood Field on a Friday night. Great crowd on hand to see the Blue Jays. Next in action a week from tomorrow at our sinus, big showdown with the Bears up in college. And so concludes a week in the life of Hopkins football. Go Hop!